for me, it involves just paying attention. It, if I read the scriptures early in the week, it means that I'm, I need to pay attention. And it's a good discipline, I find, because, you know, you get tired and you feel, oh my, um, you know, sometimes people are talking to you and your mind is somewhere else knowing that you have other commitments. And so it's a kind of a, a, a challenge to, to, to do that. Um, and then when I come to, to weave it together, you know, I make, when I go home, I make little notes about that person said that, or sometimes early in the morning I wake up and a thought comes that weaves something together, and I make note of that. Um, so for me, it's paying attention to the, the course of your life as well as your pastoral ministry. And where is the text? If, if it's going to be more than, again, explaining uh, the text um, so that it can evoke in people resonance with their own story. And I, and I, don't, I don't always do that well. I don't. I, I sometimes, if I'm a little bit confused or pressed for time, I find I end up kind of defaulting to the explanation. It's safe, you know, less risky. Um, uh, but you know what? Um, God is good. And, and the Spirit of God can make some beautiful uh, buffet, a beautiful buffet, uh, out of our, our most broken message. Because I'm, I can't imagine, I'm sure yourself, that you've been surprised by comments that people make when you think you've just bombed out, you know? And they say, you know, you, I felt you were speaking to me today. That just touched home. And um, so I say, you know, it is, great. It is, it is a, a, a graceful act. Uh, and thank God for that. Because, boy, if it were just up to us as preachers, yeah.